I just want to show you how much the battery temperature actually rises while parking. So 28, 29 at um, 7 or 5 in the morning. Charger is uh, somehow blocked. Huh. Ah. These idiots. And we left the car here with 67.3% um, state of charge. And 20 kilometers on the gasometer. That is hot, guys. I'll show you something. We've got almost 37 degrees here in the shade. That's in the 37 degrees in the shade. Okay, I would say let's fire up the car and have a look what the battery says. So the car has now parked here for six hours. And it was on 28 and 29 degrees when I came here. I lost one ampere hour. And temperature is 31, 33 degrees. So it's not, it's not too hot. The car is parked here in the total sun here. It will get some shade in the afternoon from this tree. But at the moment, I usually park over there because this car is already in the shade. I have to keep your car cool in the summertime here. Yeah, we've got only 17 kilometers on the gasometer now and 63.7% set of charge. If I turn on the aircon now for half an hour here, I won't make it in pure AV home anymore. This is quite hot here. This is quite hot. Okay, I set the aircon to 28. Yeah, EV range drops to 15 already. And here's the aircon kicking in, 1.5 kilowatts, blowing cool already. Okay, if I close these two, got only these open. Maximum efficiency. Oh, three kilowatts now on the aircon. I guess my state of charge will drop very soon. So guys, you, you would think um, 33 degrees is fairly hot for the battery. The air condition and the cooling kicks in at 35 degrees, so everything below seems to be fine. The specs of the battery cells um, tell us that we can... The maximum operation temperature is 55 degrees for these cells, which is fairly hot. And I know Tesla is charging, supercharging actually, until 45 degrees without tapering off the power. But these are liquid liquid cooled, so they have a little bit of better cooling system running. And the PHEV cooling kicks in at 35. Maximum temperature, cell temperature apparently is 55. We don't know 100% because this is for the LEV 50 cell and not for the LEV 40 cell. It is likely that it is the same chemistry and the same battery. So we can assume it is 55 degrees maximum operation temperature. So, but now here comes people saying here in Australia, the battery is always a lot hotter than in other parts of the world, which is probably true. And now we don't know what kind of degradation we are causing with just having the battery sitting like this um, at 30 degrees, a little bit above 30 degrees in summertime for eight nine hours and and let me tell you it won't cool down that much overnight anyway because then you charge and so over the years having this battery sitting on a on a higher temperature than in other countries would you think this causes higher degradation as well the battery cooling is kicking in at 35 degrees so we can expect Mitsubishi has figured it out and says, okay, we cool down at 35 degrees. Yep, range has not dropped to 14 kilometers. And we are charging with about 700 watts. Charging, I mean the compressor, of course, which um, cools down the car. Yeah, so I don't know. I reckon Mitsubishi has figured this out. In Japan, it's fairly hot as well. It's comparable to here. And if they reckon 35 degrees is fine for the battery, we don't have to start at 30 degrees. You would think, I personally don't expect any major degradation issues um, in this heat here. 
because if if it would be a problem why is Mitsubishi not updating the software in these cars in hotter climates and reprogram the trigger point for the air condition and the battery cooling down to 32 or even to 30 degrees but this is not the case they're all kicking in at 35 degrees all over the world so far so yep I probably cannot see a problem here with this battery temperature what do you think so I'm running the air condition in eco mode now um, eco mode in this case means the air condition turns actually off when the temperature is reached so it it uses less power but it also cools less if it's really stinky hot here in Australia like 40 45 degrees and you're running in eco mode you may want to switch eco mode off because then you get more performance or more power to the air condition but just sitting here in the car at the moment it's totally fine so 28 degrees and the air condition kicks in with um, 250 300 watts sometimes a little bit more and then it turns off again after a moment and the air is nice and cool which comes out here so now it has turned off okay let's leave this running for the next 20 minutes until I go back and see how many kilometers we have actually lost yeah look at this number here the kilowatt currently out of the battery is 1 kilowatt 1.3 when the aircon kicks in with about 750 watts as per this little dial diagram here and then when you see this little yellow diagram disappear like now the kilowatt go down to 0 0.3 kilowatts only as a standby and now the aircon comes back and the kilowatt goes up again interesting so 20 minutes into the test and we are still cooling down the cabin here it's actually nice so we've got probably 37 or so outside and it, in here it's nice and cool the cold air is blowing onto my lovely body and beautiful anyways if I turn on the aircon you can see the EV range jumps up to 15 kilometers we had 17 kilometers before so I've lost two kilometers in about 20 minutes and that's what I can remember from last summer it's about three kilometers you're losing for half an hour of um, cooling and we are now down to 58.5 percent state of charge I can't remember where we started um, it will be here somewhere on the screen and more importantly the battery temperature 31 and 34 degrees so the maximum module temperature has increased one degree I doubt it has something to do with um, me having the car turned on and the air condition running now this is more because it gets hotter and hotter outside now we've got uh, 1 1 30 um, in the afternoon and this is peak time now so we are close I mean 2 o'clock 2 30 this will be the maximum temperature we will get today which will be close to 40 that is totally crazy because we've got still springtime here in the middle of springtime and we've got 40 degrees already when I come back at um, 4 o'clock to drive home um, we will have close to 36 degrees battery temperature on here so when I turn on the car the air condition will kick in straight away and cool down the battery and it will suck up more ampere hours of my of my low state of health and I won't be able to make it home anymore so in winter time you've got the low performance of the battery which hinders you to get your full your full capacity and you can't make it um, to work and back anymore and now in summertime we've got the air condition running and it sucks up the same amount of energy so regardless what you do you've got only spring and autumn when I can make it uh, to work and back this is with the 74.7 so 75% state of health battery 